Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be a very different video for my channel and that is because it is a video all about yours truly. The reason I wanted to do this was first of all because I saw Manny anyway and Desi Perkins both do it and I love them but also because I mean like I said I've been on here for two years. I've never done like a and a I've never done any type of video like that. So I feel like you guys are probably a little curious, so I'm just going to hit you with some random facts. Random fact number one is I am a published poet. Um, when I was 10 years old, I was published into this book right here, Young American Poetry Digest 2004 edition. I wrote a song about my dog at the time. His name was Nemo, and we had him for a week, and then I had to give him up because Mama Danger and Andrew, which is my older brother, they were allergic to dogs, so, which is weird because we have a dog now and they're fine, but whatever. I wrote this poem, it's right here on page six, so if you just so happen to have this book in your collection, which I highly doubt that you do, but if you do, page six, right there, it's called The Dog I Could Have Had, Catherine M. Saris, which Saris is my maiden name, my name now is Moran, but that's me. Okay, I'll read it to you. Um, remember, I was 10 when I wrote this. I had him for four days, don't know what to do, can't think of all the ways to say that I love you. Won't you be mine? Won't you come home? I think of all the time that I was not alone. You filled my vacant heart, but now we are apart. That could be like a Taylor Swift song right there. <laughs> but yeah, that is my first fact, is that I was published in this book, and to this day, I'm pretty proud of that. Random fact number two. Everybody should probably take a seat if you're not already before I hit you with this fact because it's it's real random fact number two is that I Katie Danger hate bacon I, I hate bacon I'm sorry I hate how it smells I hate everything about bacon I just it drives me insane if like if you're eating bacon next to me which happens all the time by the way everybody in my office orders bacon egg and cheese like every single day and it just I can't obviously say can you not eat your bacon egg and cheese next to me like who am I when I go to IHOP with Elver he always gets bacon like no matter what he orders there's always bacon in it and I'm just like oh. having fun there buddy honestly I'm just a picky person in general there are tons and tons of things that I don't like that most people like I don't like soda I don't like ketchup I don't like tomatoes which is why I don't like ketchup I don't like peanut butter a lot of things a lot of things but I just thought bacon was the one that was gonna like floor you guys. Random facts number three when I was in middle school and I think in elementary school but I'm not sure I used to play the flute because I thought it was so cool that you held it like to the side instead of like you know pretty much any other instrument like it'd be in front of you or like over here or something like that I thought it was so cool that you held it over here and I thought it was so cute and girly so I used to play the flute and I used to really like it and I remember playing when the Saints go marching in like non-stop I still kind of remember it's like F A B C F -A -B -C? That's all I got really is the F A B C. I'm sorry. <laughs> I remember F was like something like this. I think. I don't know. Um, it's been a while, but I, I thought I'd hit you with that. That's like the only extracurricular activity I've ever done. That's not true. I did dancing in high school. And I did badminton for like a year, but that's, that's it. Fun fact number four. Uh, before I worked in my office and Bloomingdale's and the bank. Those are the three jobs you guys know about. Those are the three jobs I've had since I've been on YouTube. I used to serve at a whole bunch of different restaurants. And one of them was Dave & Buster's. And when I was serving at Dave & Buster's one day, the manager came in and was like, okay, like he gathered the, the not the hosts, the servers. He gathered the servers together. And he was like, okay guys, Buster Rhymes is coming in, so who's next on rotation? And who do you think was next on rotation? It was me. So I got to serve Buster Rhymes and his girlfriend or wife or whoever that was and his bodyguard and his son. I think those were the only people that were there. And I wanted to take a picture because my brothers love Buster Rhymes. Me, not so much. But my brothers, like, they really love Buster Rhymes. So I really wanted to take a picture with him. But the bodyguard was just basically like, girl get out of here go get me my mac and cheese so i was like okay <laughs> anyway he was pretty nice um he wasn't like he wasn't mean to me at all i mean he left me a pretty good tip and i mean i think the way you treat your servers is like super important so if anybody does not treat their servers correctly i see you i see you anyways that was random i got to serve buster rhymes uh he was nice he does not eat pork and there was pork in his mac and cheese he was really upset about it but still he was very nice to me so fun fact number four 
Fun fact number five. When Elver and I started dating, I weighed probably around like 130 pounds. I was, I mean, I'm 5'3", just for reference. So I weighed like, I guess, average for my height. And now I weigh like more than that. I gained a lot of weight when I started dating Elver, which I think is normal. But I feel like, I don't know, I feel like eventually you usually like start losing it and I mean I am going to the gym but I'm not going to the gym to lose weight I'm kind of just going just because I want to go if that makes sense I am technically obese obese I mean I, I mean I am I'm obese Four five three, I weigh way too much and you guys wouldn't know that because of course you only see like right here but if you follow me on Instagram I do post OOTDs pretty frequently now so you probably have noticed a little chubs going on there but I mean I don't really let that bother me. I didn't eat healthy when I was skinnier. I was healthier, but I was still not healthy. I would eat like once a day and it'd be like a really small meal. And it was not because I was trying to be skinny. It's just how I ate. So when Elver came along, he saw that I ate like that. And he was like, what are you doing? So he got me on track to eating a lot more. And so that's why I'm a little bigger. Thanks, babe. Random fact number six. I am scared of scary movies in ways that you just don't understand. I have such bad nightmares at night. I can't even sleep sometimes. To this day, because of the first Saw movie, okay? Bear with me on this, okay? Because of the first Saw movie, which by the way, Saw, all the Saws, those are the scariest to me. They, they just, they rub me the total wrong way. Like, I just, I want no part of it. But because of Saw 1, there was a scene right where the one of the guys was like hiding in a little girl's closet and the little girl was like mommy mommy there's like a man in my closet and the mom's like obviously because like moms are usually like there's no one in your closet like what is wrong with you so the mom was like no there's no one in there like stop holly or whatever her name is and there was a man in her closet so i can't elver knows if we're going to sleep he needs to go in the closet <laughs> Not that I have a big closet, but he needs to just like, you know, check things out. Only shoes, only pants, we're good. And then he can close the closet doors because they have to be closed and then we can go to bed. <laughs> and that is a true story. I am a baby. Fun fact number seven. Seven. Um, it's actually a story from when I was in elementary school. I feel like I have a couple of good stories from when I was in elementary school. I did some weird things. When I was in elementary school, my younger brother, his name is Austin, he was also in the elementary school with me at the same time. I think I was in fourth grade and he was in like first or something like that. And Mama Danger also worked at the same elementary school, which she still does, but besides the point. Um, so every morning, Mama Danger would awake. All three of her kids, me, my younger brother Austin, and my older brother Andrew, who went to middle school, but he would just like walk to his middle school from the elementary school because it was like two blocks away so mom and Andrew was like cool with that you know and we lived in Brooklyn about I want to say like seven or eight blocks away from the elementary school one day I wake up because you know when you wake up early every single day you just have that like internal clock that like you're waking up doesn't matter if your alarm goes off or not like you're waking up so I woke up and I woke my little brother Austin up so I was like Austin let's just let's just get ready let's show her that we can do this on our own so let's get ready and let's go to school so I got myself ready got my little six-year-old brother ready and we walked like seven or eight blocks to school and we left my mom there sleeping not thinking of course that she has to go to work because we just I mean who are we so we get to school and everyone sees us and of course they already know that we're my mom's dog uh, children <laughs> and so they're looking at us and they're like where's your mom <laughs> And we're like, oh no, we just left her sleeping because like she was so tired, so we just left her there. So of course my mom wakes up freaking out because her kids are gone. Like what? Her kids are gone and she's late for work, so she probably can't even get her life together right now. Mom and Daniel gets to the school and she's like, What were you guys thinking? And I'm just like, You were sleeping. I didn't want to wake you up. <laughs> and obviously now I know, like, I had issues. But you know, I just wanted Mom Danger to have some rest. Like, I get it. Mondays are rough. Fun fact number eight. I have a dog named Loki. I don't know if you guys, you guys may or may not know that he never is in any of my videos just because he's a pretty big dog. And he doesn't even like to be in this room at all. He hates coming in here. So, you guys probably don't know that. But I have a dog named Loki. And he is a German Shepherd, Boxer, Rottweiler, Pitbull mix. And say something bad about Pitbulls and I will come after you. The fun fact is that 
when we got Loki, I was so set on naming a dog Luigi. Like, that is all that I wanted to do was name a dog Luigi when I was in high school. I almost got a dog in Angel Luigi, but I didn't. And so when we got Loki, I was so excited. I was like, I'm finally going to name a dog Luigi. Like, this is going to be perfect. And then my older brother Andrew was like, um, excuse me, I run the show and his name is going to be Loki. Of course, I can't picture him as anything but a Loki. Because, I mean, like, he's Loki. Like, that's just what he is. He's Loki. I say Loki and he's like, what's up? <laughs> so, like, he's Loki. But it just, I just really, I just really wanted to name him Luigi so badly. I was crushed when my brother was like, no, good one. Good try. Fun fact number nine. There are some words that I cannot say. And to be honest, I have no idea why. I mean, I was born in the United States. I don't know why but I will leave the words here I'm gonna say them for you but you're not gonna know what I'm saying because they don't make it's not it's not a word so the first word is ferret which is an animal a furry little animal this is what it's actually supposed to be pronounced as but I can't say it I say ferret and number two I think there's a third one but I can't remember what it is <laughs> of course because I don't know I just can't remember what it is but the second word that I cannot say is turquoise it's right here I love the color the word it just it just gets me fun fact number 10 one of my many 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 pet peeves I have so many I can assure you I have so many but I feel like they all pretty much have to do with manners but this I think is the number one because it just, it just grinds my gears when I say thank you which is often because mama raised me right okay I say thank you I'm very grateful and people don't say you're welcome or they say mm-hmm like what why why are you taking the time and the effort to say mm-hmm instead of saying you're welcome what just say you're welcome <laughs> I don't understand like who taught you that that's not manners that's not right that's not etiquette like someone needs to talk to you because you need to say you're welcome and like I said I say thank you a lot so this happens to me all the time I don't know what it is if it's just like a generation thing because you know older people like they say they say you're welcome they're normal they say you're welcome so why don't we just say you're welcome? Why? I don't know. Fun fact number 11, which is 11. When I was younger, in elementary school and middle school and probably almost high school, like it was real. It was like, it was not a joke. I used to hate needles so much. Like, so much. To the point where I would be fighting the nurses, I would be fighting Mama Danger, I was fighting everybody and I mean I wasn't like this little girl like just like uh -huh, get away from me like I was like in middle school I was like pretty big okay I was like I was punching people I was like kicking mama danger I was like I was not playing games my dad used to have to come out of work when I went to the doctor just to hold me down so that I would get the needle I would cry like a baby every single time and I was like I was not playing games obviously now I feel really bad like I used to beat mama danger up like the poor woman <laughs> she just wants her daughter to get a shot but I had, I just had no boundaries. I was like, you are not giving me this shot. Goodbye. It's funny to think about that now because now I have 10 tattoos, which is I guess 11B. I have 10 tattoos and obviously they use needles to do tattoos. So it's just like, it's weird to think about how much I hated them and how much I've had them on me since I've turned 18. No, before I turned 18. You guys probably already know I have a whole bunch of tattoos because you can pretty much see all of them on camera. The only ones you can't see, there's like two? No, there's three that you cannot see on camera, but it's like you can see most of them, so you probably already know. Fun fact number 12 is that I hate when my feet are just like bare. If my feet don't have socks on them, I go crazy. I hate it so much it feels so uncomfortable to me I feel like my feet are so cold I just I don't feel right I cannot go to sleep without wearing socks which is weird I know a lot of people are the opposite a lot of people sleep without socks and if they had socks like they would feel weird I'm the opposite I cannot go to sleep barefoot like no even when it's the summer like I'll try my absolute best to wear socks with like whatever shoes I'm wearing it's kind of hard though because like what are your options really like boots and sneakers so most of the time I end up just wearing like some type of like strappy heel or something like that but just know every time I wear like not socks 
I am dying. Random fact number 13 is that I am about to be 23 next week. That's not it. Just wait for the rest. I'm about to be 23 next week and I do not drink alcohol and it's not because of any reason other than I don't want to. <laughs> I don't like the way the alcohol tastes, and neither does Elver, by the way, I guess we could just add that in there. Neither of us drink alcohol. When we go out to eat, we drink, he drinks a Coke or Pepsi every single time, and I either drink like some type of lemonade, an Oreo milkshake, you guys know what it is with the Oreo milkshakes, or some type of like virgin pina colada, virgin strawberry daiquiri, something like that. That's what I always drink. And again, I'm old enough, I just, I just don't like alcohol. I don't know. I don't know why everyone else does and I'm like the only person, well Elver and I are like the only people who do not like it. We just, we don't think it tastes good. I, I personally think it messes up my drinks, but that's just me. Fun fact number 14, which is 14, it has nothing to do with Spanish, I just felt like saying 14. Um, I have a bad habit, this is my only bad habit and it drives me crazy. I feel like everyone has one bad habit, it just... It just sucks. I hate this bad habit so much and I know how bad it is and I just can't stop doing it. Um, I bite my cheek like on the inside. Obviously I can't bite my cheek. Like I bite my cheek like, you know what I'm talking about? Like the gums inside your cheek. I know other people do this. I know they do because I saw it one time on Criminal Minds. But that's what I, I do on both of my sides. I do it all the time. And I cannot stop and it hurts. It hurts my jaw. It hurts the inside of my cheek. Obviously, it starts like bleeding and stuff. And I just I just can't stop doing it. Elver will stop me if he sees me. He'll like he'll just give me a little like like this. <laughs> and I'm like stop. And I'm like, okay, okay. And then I'll just do it like five seconds later. It's just it's really bad. I know it's bad. I try every single day. I go into work and I'm like, I'm not gonna do it today. And then I'm just like it's it's just I don't know. Fun fact number 15, I have my list here. Fun fact number 15 is the only surgery that I've ever had that I recall, maybe I had like surgeries when I was like so little that I can't remember, but the only one that I know of I had three years ago in my right breast. Um, I actually had a benign tumor in there, benign, benign, which means it was okay, we're okay, everyone's okay. I had that in there and it was so big that I felt it, like just like on a daily basis, like I just, I felt that it was in there. And so I told Mama Danger and Mama Danger was like, let's go to the doctor, told the doctor, he felt and he was like, oh wow, that's, that's there, <laughs> there it is. So we did a biopsy and it came back, of course, that it was a benign tumor. And so I had surgery to take it out and I'm gonna spare you the details, but mama don't look the same anymore. <laughs> look at all the balls I have. I'm just putting it all out there for you guys. Uh, but yeah, no, we're good. We're all good here, I'm good. Fun fact number 16. I don't know why I'm calling these fun facts, that they're supposed to be run random facts, but I, I guess I just like fun facts better. Um, so fun fact number 16, when I was in kindergarten, in Miss Francis's class, I see you Miss Francis, I'm just kidding, I don't, I don't think she watches my videos. <laughs> but uh, I was in Miss Francis's class and we were learning about the stars and she's like, does anybody know like when there's a group of stars and they make a picture, do you know what that's called? And we're all just like, what? And she's like, okay, okay, const, and then of course, because I'm so smart, I'm just like, it's constipation. I know this one. I'm so smart. And Ms. Francis is just like, what? <laughs> what? I didn't get it. Everybody was laughing at me. And I was like, how is that not the answer? Like that you said consta. Like what, what could possibly be after that? <laughs> it's, it's lation, by the way. Lation. Not patient. Fun fact number 17. I, this is probably like the most important thing to know about me, I think. And it's like not a good thing to know either. I mean, <laughs> it's not a good quality to have. But it's, it's me, I can't lie to you. I am ridiculously impatient. Like, I have no patience at all. When it comes to people, like, if you're, I don't know, like, if you're not understanding me, I have patience. I will sit with you for five hours until you understand what I'm trying to say to you. I will talk with you. I have patience when it comes to that. But I don't have patience for anything else. Absolutely anything else. Nothing. Sometimes I don't want to go to the hair salon because I'm like, oh my god, it's going to be like two hours of sitting there. Like, why can't it just be like ten minutes? 
because I have no patience. Or when I'm driving, I drive super fast, which I do not recommend. I, I mean, I drive a RAV4, like where am I really going? But I drive so fast just because I have no patience. Like I don't want to be sitting in my car. I want to be where I need to be. And I think that has to do with being like from New York, but at the same time, like I live in Long Island. So like I'm in the suburbs. Nobody's, nobody's like that over here. <laughs> Fun fact number 18, my YouTube dream, or I would just say a dream of mine because I mean I've got several, but a dream of mine is to come out with a collab, like an eyeshadow collab with a company that would just be everything to me. You guys know I take my eyes very seriously, very seriously, I play no games. So if I was to come out with an eyeshadow collab, I think I would just pass out right away. I, I would. I would love that. I feel like that is the ultimate way to show your creativity and I just, I just, I would die. I would just die. Fun fact number 19. I was a nerd my whole entire life, but that's not even the fun fact. It gets better, okay? When I was in elementary school, like I said, Mama Danger was teaching at the same elementary school that I went to. So she would check up on me and make sure like I was, I was doing things the right way. Like she was not, it was not a joke. I remember this one this one summer she gave me long division to do the entire summer because like I was not getting long division during the school year I was like what is this long division stuff you're talking about so I sat down with her and I honestly I'll be honest I really think that's when I fell in love with math for anybody who doesn't know I do have a math degree now but of course back then I did not but that's not even the random fact okay let's just say that's fact a that's not what the fact is supposed to be about the fact is that I was such a nerd in elementary school that I was actually named valedictorian. I will put a picture here of me giving my speech with my little, my little curls. And um, yeah, I mean, I was 10, so don't judge me too hard. But I was valedictorian in elementary school, never again after that, because I mean, obviously it gets really hard to be valedictorian after that. I mean, anybody who was valedictorian, like you, kudos to you, you are like, you're living. Final fun fact for you guys, number 20, is that I was premature when I was born. I was born a month before I was supposed to be born. I think my mom's due date was October 25th and I was born September 28th. And every single time that I tell somebody that, they always throw so much shade at me. They always play me and they're like, that's why. Okay, I get it now. I see you guys, okay? I see you. You're playing me. But yeah, those are my 20 fun facts. Um, I I don't know if there's anything else that you guys want to know that I didn't mention. I mean, obviously these are random facts, so you wouldn't know any of this stuff if I didn't just tell you. But if you guys have like any questions that you have for me, I mean, my life is pretty much an open book. Of course, there are some lines, but pretty much the normal things you want to know, I will tell you. And I mean, if you guys want me to do like a Q&A or like a Snapchat Q&A or something like that, let me know in the comments and I will definitely do it for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope I did not have lipstick on my teeth. I'm going to check right now and I swear if I had lipstick on my teeth, that's how the video is going up. We're good. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. All of that will be linked down below as well as everything that's on my face today and some of my previous videos and a whole bunch of stuff like that. That'll all be linked down below. And I think that's all I have to say. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is finally going to be a tutorial on this very warm fall berry cut crease look that I'm wearing.